What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, 860 Chris, aka Juice God K, aka. K with the K, and now I'm back with another YouTube video, man. Hey. I told y'all at the end of the last video, I'm gonna make a little CT lingo video for y'all. If you haven't watched that, check it out. I'll put it in the link in the description and on the screen. Today's video will be about CT slang and lingo. Damn, I got the curls out today. Oh my God, how's your bitch? Oh my. This video is to inform people about the culture that we do have. Not many people are aware about. I do want y'all to be aware of like, most of the slang and lingo comes from the cities, bro. So if anybody from Bolton or, or Richfield talking about Oh, I never heard that word. What are you talking about? This, this isn't CT. Nigga, yo, like, first of all, like, no offense, but nobody lives in your area, my nigga, with, like, swag. You feel me? Like, you just live around horses and, and, and cattle and shit. Like, bro, don't shit go on where you from, so feel me? Not everybody's really hip to the slang and lingo, but those who know, no, it's, it's pretty popular, bro. You just gotta get out more. Before you get out, I promise you about to hear most of, if not all of these words, bro. I compressed this video into like a TikTok a while back before, but I noticed I was missing a lot of things and explanations and sentences and shit like that. So another thing I'll be doing too, because 860 and 203 are damn near like different worlds for real. And we have different languages, lingo, the way, way we speak, all that shit. The words that mostly like 203 heads use, I'm gonna put like mostly 203, vice versa, mostly 860. Like like I said, it's different size to CT, bro. So enough talking, without further ado, I'm gonna get into it, man. Let's get it. So first word we got, offy. This I feel like is like the most common original CT word, offy. I damn use it like every day, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. But it is more of an 860 word. I don't really hear two or three use it like that. I've heard like Waterbury, maybe like around those surrounding areas, Middletown use it. But yeah, two or three not really hit like that. So it's, mo it's mostly an 860 thing. Offy has two meanings. The first one, the original meaning is like, you're just a goofball, my nigga. Like you're complete goofball. Like you're you're a fucking lame. You're, you don't fit in whatsoever. I'm gonna give y'all an example, right? You have a nigga from Hamden that tries to be a New Haven nigga, bro. Like. Like, bro, just think of somebody who's had it made their whole life, two loving parents, a nice home in the suburbs, white picket fence, a golden retriever named Max, like, bro, and if you got a golden retriever, bro, you're getting chicken, like, you're not on section eight, you are not poor, feel me? And all of a sudden, they get a switch in their mind that says, I'm from the trenches now, right? I'm a gangster. Like, you are a offie, okay? You are a certified offie. Stop what you're doing. You just... No, like you're just an outcast, my nigga. Like, you're just a misfit. Like, you don't fit in, my nigga. You are a goofy. Stop. Stop it. Like I said, it has another meaning. I've seen and heard people use it as, like, like almost, like, shady. You're fucked up. Like, you're wrong. Not really the original term, but it applies to, say, somebody getting roasted for the type of shoes they have on. You could be like, nah, you are offy. Why you doing like that? Like, chill. You being an offy right now, chill type shit. I've seen or heard people use it like that, but that's not the real meaning. Right? Next up, we got Neff. Now, Neff is like almost offy's little brother in a sense. Like, it's just to a lesser level. The OG meaning, like, somebody who tries too hard to be accepted, bro. Like, chill man. You, you if you don't fit in you don't fit in don't try and make the shoe fit man like, just be yourself trying way too hard now, like i said it's offy's little brother you could be naff but you don't want to be an offy man. Like, like offy is just like you you don't want to be one of those the second meaning for naff is like the same second meaning for offy too like shady fucked up like next up if you hear somebody call you spice cheese bop chop grits chips you are an ugly bitch <laughs> nothing more to it like you just you're not the best looking individual i don't now nah, let me take that back because nobody's ugly nobody's ugly my nigga like everybody's beautiful in their own way but you just might not be somebody's type basically you might be a little facially challenged but that's okay though everybody's beautiful in their own way like i said but yeah if you hear somebody call you that or say those words that's what it means bro Next up, we got Troop. I think there's more of an 860 thing too. Troop is if something is like far as hell. Like if you gotta walk or drive somewhere that's far. Like for example, that CVS 30 minutes away, that's a Troop. 
That's true, pretty. I'm not gonna lie. Not too long ago, I drove to Norwalk, and that took like that shit to like an hour and twenty minutes, bro. That shit far as fuck. But yeah, that's true, man. This is more of a two or three thing, I think. I don't really hear people in the A6O use it like that. I just feel like this is more of a lie detector type of thing. Like to prove to somebody you're not lying, like, or facts, like bro grave. It's really something you put at the beginning or end of a sentence, bro. Like, bro grave, I'm hungry as hell. That bitch fat as hell, bro grave. <laughs> I swear to God, you had three touchdowns today. Bro grave. Like, bro grave, my nigga's a lie detector touch. I know niggas that lie on their dead people, so you can't always believe it, feel me? People be saying that and don't even have a bro that's dead. Like that's just the, but yeah, that's 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 bro grave. Like bro grave, word two, put it on something, make it official is like a lie detector test. Word two don't always gotta be a question; it could be like facts or you're agreeing with something. But put it on something or make it official. That's that's the lie detector test. Like make it official, you bagged Ashley. Put it on who your ugly ass bagged Ashley. Your mom? Shit, touch me. This one more like universal, like eats, yebas, bops, yichos, like their thoughts, bro. Like that's a promiscuous person. Yeah, this mainly a two or three word whistles. It means like something is clips or like over with, like it's dead kind of like. For example, I got some food waiting on me at home. When I get to the crib, it's whistles, like it's over with. Next we got Jazzin. This is one of my favorite CT words. It's like, it's like capping, bro. Like you're lying. Or you're just talking out your ass. I'm pretty sure this came from the 203, but people in the ACSO use it too. Yeah, those are the two definitions I derived from it. Correct me if I'm wrong though, because I'm not from the 203. You feel me? But that's I never really seen it be used in another type of form. You feel me? Like, it's either capping or you're just talking out your ass. Sorry, I can't get over this sunlight, bro. Just look at my skin. Bruh. Look at my skin. Look at my skin. I don't mean to raise you up, but look Boy, if you don't get Y'all don't really got a definition because it's more so like a hype word. It's normally what people would say when they like freaking it. You know what freaking it is? You should though by now if you if you've been following me for long enough. But see, I do it sometimes on the TikTok. The dance native to CT, A6O especially. Um, it's going viral on TikTok, bro. The Instagram page for it that be doing numbers, like I shouldn't even hurry up and go viral, but yeah, it's something you would say when you freaking it. Like if you in a party and you ain't in somebody's shirt, like, cause that's what you do when people freaking it. Like you go like this, you'll be like, young, young, young. It's a hype word. Or I've seen people do this too. A bro or a sis post something on the gram, they looking decent. You could be like, young, like hyping them up. Young, bro, young. Next up, we got greasing. Bro, greasing, it's an old word. Greasing is basically like... Bro, it's it's sex, bro. It's sexual intercourse, my nigga. That's, that's really all it is to it. It's, it's a word that kind of died down. I don't really hear people use it like that. Kind of went extinct in like 2019, 2020, around then. I haven't really heard people use it like that. We need to bring it back. Like I hear people be like, oh, I'm about to get some grease after school. I just grease so-and-so. Oh, I'm greasing, like, feel me? Like, grease. Next up, next up we got fighting words. If somebody says like, get it cooking, get it in, run me my one, throw your shits, run me my 30 seconds, what you wanna do? Like, you hear any of those phrases, bro, brace yourselves, cause you're about to either be in or witness a nigga moment. It's about to get hectic, bro. Niggas, niggas about to fight. I don't really hear get it cooking or get it in in places other than CT. But if you're not native to Connecticut, bro, and you hear that, beware, my nigga, beware. I <laughs> hurry and inkton are like suffixes, bro. You add them to the end of a word to like add swag to it. Like it's just a little like icing on the cake, bro. Like it's no definition. That's all it is to it. For example, spliffery, spliffington. I'm about to get some greasington. <laughs> what the fuck? Now this is strictly an eight six zero thing. I don't hear this anywhere else. Mainly like Hartford, Hartford area, Hartford County. I don't hear this anywhere else. Just not realizing how wild that shit sounds, my nigga. Like when you really think about it, like A6O really has its own language, my nigga. Like what the fuck is that? <laughs> and it's wild because you could talk to me exactly like that and I don't know exactly what you're talking about. Exactly what you're talking about. It's, it's insane, bro. 
It just has a little swag to it, bro. That's all it is. Next up, we got Batchy or Batch. It's like if something looks bad, like especially an outfit, like that fit Batchy is hard. That fit Batchy is hard. Like it just don't look good, bro. Like it's. So these are like roasting words, bro. Like cooking, flaming, ranking. He's baking you. Like that's really all it is. It's just another word for like roast. Like yo, he's baking your shit. You're ranking the shit out of you. You gonna let him talk to you like that? Flame his ass back. I know DMV has. They use like Joan or John. I, I think it's Joan actually. It's definitely Joan. Like it's just another word for roasting. That's it. Next up, we got pranking. It's, it's like if somebody's like playing or wasting your time. Like they're just, they're bullshitting, they're pranking. Even use it to say you got stood up too, bro. Like I was supposed to link this one girl yesterday and she was pranking, bro. She was replying. She was playing games, like pranking. That's all I got for now. That's a small portion of CT lingo. I'm just a lot more. If y'all run this video up, I'll definitely bring like a part two or something, but yeah, that's a small sample size of CT lingo, bro. If you heard me say any of these words, you should be a little informed by now, bro. Like. I hope, I hope this helps. And disclaimer, bro. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you are from Litchfield, Torrington, Woodbridge, do not get in the comments talking about. Never heard any of these words in my life. You're not around the culture, my nigga. All right, so listen. Still CT lingo that I hear many people use all the time. Social media, functions, all that. It's real, it's not fake. There are multiple sides to CT. Get out more, all right, all right. Yeah, man, that's the end of the video though. If you enjoyed your time, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that. More feedback, I wanna hear if y'all heard of some of these words, if I missed anything, all that. But without further ado, and before I go, shout out Enfield, shout out Windsor Locks, shout out Hamden, Nogatuck, uh, 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 Groton, Norwich, Norwalk, uh, who else, who else, Bristol, Tallinn, and who else should I shout out last? East Line, CT Game, and I love y'all, we out.